Welcome to another of Valor Mania Reviews, and tonight I'm here to review Monday Night Raw, which will be Kurt Angle's big reveal. So the show starts off, uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins are in the ring, and they're, re- and they're still, you know, yelling at each other about last week. Um, you know, the whole thing is Ambrose doesn't trust uh, Rollins about the shield, Rollins apologizes, fans start to cheer, they really want to see these uh Three back together, even though they hate Reigns. It's funny. I think they, I think they, they'll still probably boo Reigns. But I think if they were in the Shield, um, like the heat towards him would probably be a lot less. So uh, Rollins turns around, and tells Ambrose, "I'm in the back of the chair," like Ambrose, like uh, Rollins did three years ago. Ambrose doesn't. Miz Taraj comes out. No Maurice. That was interesting, but Miz. Um, and the other two, they all have chairs, and they all beat the shit out of Ambrose and Rollins. Uh, Miz gives Am- Rollins the skull-crushing finale while the chair was set up, and then uh, he hits Ambrose. So they, get, they, I think we're getting a handicap match at SummerSlam. Maybe it's a six-man tag. It won't be Roman because I think Roman's in the main event. Also possible, it's a maybe to have Finn Balor, hey Ambrose and Rollins get Balor team up. But I think it'll be Ambrose and Rollins definitely beating Miz, the Miz to Rush for sure. Because I think we're going to see a shield reunion. I really think that's going to happen. I think um, I think they're teasing it so much. I think it's just bound to happen. So I, I, I will see. I my prediction by the end of the year, the shield will be back together. Uh, up next is Bailey and Alexa Bliss. I saw rumor it was supposed to be Bailey and Sasha. Now it's Bailey and Alexa. So I mean. Hopefully it's better than our last fucking disaster uh, Kendall stick match at Extreme Rules. Can't be worse than that. So I don't know who's winning. I think Bailey might win this. So they have a match and they have a pretty, you know, average match. Um, what happens is it's a match and then uh, Nia Jax comes out and near the end of the match he interferes and uh, Alexa attacks, uh, you know, Bailey because Nia interferes. Looks like Alexa's gonna win. Sasha Banks comes out, attacks Nia. This allows Bailey to roll up Bliss, but Bliss kicks out. But then Bailey immediately hits a belly to belly for a win. To me, it looks like a fatal four at SummerSlam. That's disappointing. I really wanted to see um, Sasha and Alexa. I hope we get that at WrestleMania. That'd be cool. Just those two at Mania, but it looks like for sure it's a fatal four right match. And it's the same match at Summer uh, at WrestleMania this this past year, um, except Charlotte. You, except you substitute Alexa Bliss for Charlotte. It's uh, it's just the same match. So. It is what it is. And they keep hyping up this fucking Kurt Angle storyline and then stuff with Corey Graves. <sighs> I'm dreading this fucking segment later tonight, but whatever. So after Corey Graves checks his phone and gets interrupted for a billion time, then... So backstage, Kurt Angle's pacing back and forth. Kurt just sucks his GM. I hate to say I'm a huge fan of Kurt, but man, he is sucking his GM. He has his his delivery is just awful. It's just awful to watch. Um, you know, Corey Graves convinces him to do it. I just uh, I don't want. I hope it's not Dixie Carter. Backstage, um, they have Titus O'Neil and just damn, go away, man. You're so bad. Cruiserweight are on. Don't care. So after that, uh, we get Enzo Mori out. Talks a lot, talks, 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 talk, talk, talk. Exact same promo he did three weeks ago and two weeks ago and at the pay-per-view. So it's the same old shit. Uh, Big Cass interrupts him, runs to kick his ass, and then uh, Enzo goes in the crowd and uh, tricks him, and out comes the Big Show, and Big Show comes out, and uh, they start to fight. So uh, the segment fucking sucked. Big Show beat him up for like all the while, then Big Cass turned the tables, and it just fucking sucked. It's like they're having a match, but there's no match. They're not beating each other up that bad. We see this shit in matches all the time. It's not like they're using chairs or brawling through the crowd or going through the analysis table, something that can be significant. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. This sh- That fucking sucked. That whole segment sucked. Enzo got in the ring and got destroyed the big blue. I don't, why do they keep giving Enzo more all this promo time just to have him get squashed? It, this fucking segment absolutely sucked. Big Cass sucks. I think he's terrible. I've said it. I, I'm, I've i lost. I don't think he's going to be a star. I, he sucks on the mic. He's not good. He has no charisma. You know, when he talks, it's, it's like he's nervous. He, like, looks around. He paces. And, and that, that, that segment of Big Show was just fucking trash. Oh, my God. I thought that was garbage. Anyway, Roman Reigns is interviewed. Don't give a fuck. Muted the channel. Up next is Elias Sampson to Finn Balor. Making a prediction. Elias Sampson wins because Bray Wyatt interferes and costs Balor to match.
That's what I see happening. So Kurt makes a tag team match or a handicap match for next week. Ambrose and Rollins against the Mistourage. Um, I was really thinking for sure that this was going to happen at a uh, SummerSlam, but I don't know. Maybe they'll build to that. The fucking drifters in the ring. This guy is fucking terrible. It is X Pac. He, he got. He needs to be released. He is fucking garbage. He was terrible in NXT. And he's fucking terrible in the main roster. So they have a match at the end. Elias Sampson does the old Jeff Jarrett guitar uh, spot, smashes the guitar over from Balor. It actually hit Balor in the shoulder, and I think it hit him on the side of his head because it split uh, the side of his head open. It, it grazed him at the side of his head. The edge part hit him, and he uh, he's bleeding. He's down, so uh, Balor wins by DQ, but now he's on the ground. Almost right on that prediction. Uh, Bray Wyatt didn't interfere in a match, but when Balor was recovering... Bray Wyatt appeared and said a bunch of shit. I don't even remember one word he said. And that segment just ended a couple seconds ago. So I am done with Bray Wyatt. Go away. Get the fuck out. That's my. That's why I want to see him Bray. I don't want to see him on my TV anymore. Also uh, worth noting, I think I forgot to mention, uh, when Elias Sampson did the whole guitar spot, they're actually in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's Jeff Jarrett, his hometown. So, um, you know, that, that was somewhat of a nod to Jeff Jarrett. Even though Jeff Jarrett fucking sucks and he's a he's a terrible, you know, I, I think Jeff Jarrett sucks. I think he's a shitty worker, but uh, they, that was, I guess, almost more of a rib. I don't know if this is going to be the Drifter's new gimmick, but you can that that wasn't you know done by accident. You know, the fact that he starts smashing guys in the face with the guitars in Nashville, yeah. So Bailey and Sasha come into Kurt's office. They disagree. They, they want a title match. Both of them are arguing of who gets to get the next title match. They did tease some dissension between the two. So Kurt makes it a match next week. Bailey and Sasha Banks. Winner gets bliss at SummerSlam. Um, you know, I still feel probably saying a fit of four. I think Nia Jax will probably interfere and ruin the match. And it'll be Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks versus Bailey versus Nia. And uh, a four way, that's where it really looks like. Uh, but hopefully, I mean, they. I would like to see uh, Sasha and Alexa. And speaking of Sasha, she looks amazing. Has anyone noticed the last few weeks, Sasha has just been unbelievably gorgeous. Uh, I don't know. She's changed. She's always been very attractive. And as of now, I mean, it's to me, in my opinion, it's between her and Alexa Bliss is the hottest woman in the company. Those two, I think, are the two, right now, the two sexiest women in the company. Alexa, of course, is always just, you know, just unbelievably gorgeous. But, um, yeah. I really think people need to point that more out about Sasha. She's just been looking amazing the uh, last few weeks. Um, Revival on the Hardys are starting to tease that. I mean, I, I just don't care. I want to see the broken gimmick, but it looks like we're not going to get it. Based on Jeff fucking Jarrett, who I already mentioned earlier, is fucking keeping this gimmick away from the Hardys. I just hate that motherfucker. I wish that fucker would just... Blow his Neo and just fucking get away from wrestling. He's a fucking scumbag. He screwed over his own father. He brought him into wrestling. He was never any good. He was a shitty wrestler, shitty talker. And I want to see this fucking broken gimmick in WWE. We're not going to get it because it's fucking a loser. Anyway, Revival on the are talking. So they cut a promo about the Hardys and how they felt the Hardys never really paid any attention to them because, you know, Dash Rowler broke his jaw and was out for about uh, two months, but whatever. Um. I, again, I don't know if we're going to get to see it. I'm afraid the Hardys are going to be what the Dudleys were a couple years ago. And that's just this tag team that's there to put over the young talent and just being uh, the old veterans there to put over younger guys and make them look good. I'm afraid that's what's going to happen to the Hardys unless uh, they, they can get one of the rights as a broken gimmick. But uh, Jeff Jarrett and Anthem can go fuck themselves. And uh, Ed Norholm, fuck you. Um Anyway, in this match, um, actually, first next match is cruiserweight match. Don't give a fuck. That's the piss break. Fuck the cruiserweights. So Kurt Angle is going to do the segment right now. I thought this was the main event, but it's happening right now. Jason Jordan, this is Kurt Angle's son. I thought for sure it was Chad Gable, but man, they're splitting up alpha. Jason Jordan is Kurt Angle's son. Man, that sucked. I mean, Jordan comes in, they hug. It sucks. American Alpha is split already. Oh, man. 
So they split Enzo and Cass and American Alpha, who are basically my two favorite teams in the span of what? Three, four weeks? Oh, man, that sucks. I like American Alpha as a team. These two are split. I think Jordan's on Raw. They're not even doing anything with Gable on SmackDowns. Oh, man, that's really unfortunate. But, I mean, uh, maybe they're going to give Jason Jordan the big push. I don't know about this. It just kind of fell flat. I mean, they hugged in the middle of the ring for a few minutes and cried. It was like, mm, I don't know about that one. I think a lot of people are going to hate that. Revival beat the Hardys in the match. I just did not give a shit about it. I could not wait for that to be over. I didn't get into the match at all. Revival wins. Oh, I don't know what they're doing with the Hardys. They didn't even mention anything about the broken gimmick or anything to do with that universe. I'm not sure we're going to even see it. Fuck Anthem and fuck uh, Impact and G- the GFW. Fuck you, motherfuckers. You're getting nothing out of this and you're fucking screwing the fans. So fuck you and I'll never watch your fucking product for doing this to the fans and the hardy. So I'll never, ever, 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 ever even think about watching your fucking product. And I hope you fuckers die. Um, anyway, after that match, uh, Charlie Caruso, beautiful Charlie Caruso, looking stunning as always. Interview Samoa Joe, and that's coming up next. Um, oh, I think Strowman returns here. I'm 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 going to predict Strowman comes in and destroys the match, and uh, I think we'll see a may, we might see a four way at SummerSlam. Also, uh, you know, I've given a lot of credit to Sasha and Alexa and all them. Um, Charlie's looking amazing tonight. She looks uh, stunning, uh, just smoking hot tonight. I love the look she has tonight. Anyway, after that, announcers are talk. Um, and they show uh, another video package about uh, you know WWE um, helping Norris Peterson. Uh, after you know, I've been thinking about this main event. I think I think Strowman returns, but I mean, we haven't heard anything that he's there. There hasn't been any rumors. I mean, maybe they've kept it under secret, but I'm not sure. For sure he's coming in, but I think that's the most likely scenario. I think it's either Strowman that comes in, and there's no way Joe's uh, beating Reigns. So it's either Strowman destroys, you know, comes in and ruins the match, or uh, Roman wins, and it's Roman and Brock. So it was a cool moment after uh, after they showed a video package about uh, Norris Peterson. Uh, when he's in the crowd, they show him, he starts to do the s chain. He just told the whole crowd doing it with him. That was actually a really nice moment. And I'm still a little ticked off about that Kurt Angle segment. Oh, they've ruined another fucking tag team. So, what? For, two of my favorite tag teams are now split up. It's just such bullshit. Because Vince McMahon hates tag teams. Why do they always have to split up these tag teams? Enzo and Cass split. All American Alpha splits. They're, they're also splitting up the hype rows. No one cares about them, but still. The, why do they always have to split these fucking tag teams? I mean, you'll never see the days when tag teams would stick together for several years. And whenever these guys go into single stars, they look at the top of the card and they're just not good enough to compete at the top of the single stars. And eventually their career winds down and they flop as single stars. And then people want to see the tag team come back. And it's a complete flop it happens every single time stop splitting these guys up you fucking dipshit scumbag writers you fucking asshole fuck faces you motherfuckers you just kill guys because you always want to split everyone up you fucking assholes oh fuck you you fucking unintelligent motherfucking assholes who don't know a fucking thing about wrestling and about tag team wrestling just oh god split every fucking tag team now we split the fucking Hardys now, you fucking idiots. And Vince's idea of a tag team is his own shame. It's two guys you do nothing with. Oh, let's make them a tag team. Instead of, a, you know, they do an NXT, they build up the tag team. When they come to the main roster, they get a good reaction. And then they fucking build them up to be something on the main roster. Instead of just fuck, just throwing two guys together. It's fucking it's their own shame. It's just, both these guys have been busts. I see Titus and Neil and Akira Tazal in the back. Oh my god, who cares? Main events next. Before that, they announced a few matches for next week. It's um, They made them official. It's Balor and uh, Elias Sampson in an ODQ match. Bray will interfere, obviously. Um, Sasha and Alexa, or uh, Sasha and Bailey in a Bronx Contenders match. Winner faces Alexa at SummerSlam. Probably not getting more interference. And then uh, Ambrose and Rollins against the Miz Taraj. So, um, main event's up next. We'll see what happens here and what they're doing at SummerSlam. Can Roman overcome the odds? Can Roman overcome the odds? These fucking announcers are going to give away the finish. So, Joe and Reigns had a long match. Then Strowman interferes. He beats them both up. Uh, beats up Reigns with a few, couple power slams. So, it looks like it's pretty much all said and done. It's a fatal four-way match at SummerSlam. 
Kind of predicted that, uh, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Triple Darts of Air Force, but that looks like it's almost a lock. It's, uh, those four will main events SummerSlam. Um, 